All right, so this question uh, is solved two different ways. Uh, it is essentially, can you figure out in your head what T equals? Some people are very naturally good at that. I've never found myself to be that way. So let's try that first, actually, and uh, we can all uh, grow together. Um, all right, so T squared minus four equals zero. What's the value of T? All right, well, what minus four would give me zero? Well, it, this would ultimately have to equal four. And then that means that uh, what number x just yeah no what number squared equals four well that's two and so obviously that must mean that the value of t equals two well let's go about it in the classic way maybe the way that your teacher would have given you credit on right because that's the, like for all you smarties out there you're going to be like well obviously that's how you solve it your teacher's like well you didn't show your work so i'm not giving you credit uh so this is the how to show your credit approach though remember the test doesn't care the sat doesn't care if you show your work uh, so I can rewrite this as t squared equals 4 because I can just get 4 to the other side by adding it. And then I get t by itself by squaring both sides and then t equals the square root of 4, which is 2.